Here is our only way out. Satan's deadliest enemy is the Lord Jesus Christ, the number two person in the Godhead. Christ's duties besides creating the universe are to judge the church, the world, the nations, and the life of every man, woman, and child that ever lived. Romans 2.16, 2 Corinthians 5.10, and Revelation 20, 12 to 15. Let's go to Romans 2, 16. In the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ, according to my gospel. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 5, 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Revelation twenty twelve to 15 And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were open, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Matthew twenty-eight eighteen. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given un unto me in heaven and in earth. Ephesians 1, 20 to 22. Ephesians 1, 20-22, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world but also in that which is to come, and hath put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. Revelation seventeen fourteen says These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is the Lord of Lords and King of Kings, and they that are with him are called cho called and chosen and faithful. All authority in heaven and on earth is placed in his hands by God the Father. That's in Matthew twenty eight eighteen, Ephesians one twenty to twenty two, and Jesus Christ is called the Lord of Lords and King of Kings in Revelation seventeen fourteen.